For all you trivia geeks out there, keep an eye out for future game shows on all your favorite categories, like movies, video games, pop culture, and more, all with a Watch Mojo twist. Out of all professional sports championships, the Stanley Cup is arguably the hardest trophy to win, even for these guys and the all-time greats. That's why we're saluting the greatest players to never win the Cup today on The Lineup. Welcome to The Lineup, the game show that's basically a 22-minute bench clearing brawl. I'm your host, Adam Reed. Good to have you with us, and let's see what guests we've got lined up. Welcome to the show, Paul Ash. You're a comedian, you've worked as an MC at Comic-Con, and you have a special relationship with a love doctor. A, who's the love doctor, and B, what's your relationship to him? Uh, the Love Doctor is, is like a sex advice columnist uh, without actual column. He does a live okay. show. Okay. Um, <laughs> the relationship is we share a body. Uh, <laughs> you see, you <laughs> see where this is going. Yeah, right? yeah, this is going. This is you know, we'll obvious. just leave it there. Yeah. Sean McMahon, welcome <laughs> oh. to the show. You are a philanthropist and a successful radio host. But your first time on air, Sean McMahon, was. Uh, a little bit rough. It was, it was epic, yeah. I was uh, 18, fresh-faced in the newsroom. I remember it like it was yesterday, and I was uh, given a sports report for a couple of minutes, and I just, uh, it, was, it was passionate, and it was a ton of energy, and, and people were waving and gesticulating, and I thought, well, they're very supportive. And it turned out I never turned my microphone on, <sighs> and I still somehow have a career. So I <laughs> yeah. love that. Yeah, I remember that. Welcome to the show, Thank Team you. Red. Great to be you here. guys are going to be facing off against Team Blue, Derek Fage, your morning show host, successful one, and a ring announcer for an annual charity boxing match called Ringside for Youth. First of all, Tell me, do you ever want to get in there and just suck these guys? Uh, no. <laughs> well, it, it's a great event because we bring in special guests. So, you know, boxers from the past, Smoke and Joe Frazier, we brought in Vander Holyfield, Sugar Ray Leonard, names. guys like that. You look at some of these guys and they're still in great shape. There's not a chance I'd get in the ring with any of them. Julian Pastorero, you are a Mojo Holic and a huge hockey fan. The producers I watch Mojo gave you an opportunity to be right here on the lineup. Are you going to bring it? I'm going to bring it today, That's what Adam. I'm, I'm going to bring it. Love it. Appreciate Watch Mojo for letting me participate in the great show. Man. You got it. Teams, welcome to the lineup. Over the next three periods, our teams are going to engage in a battle of knowledge and strategy on their way to creating a list of the greatest players to never win the cup. The hockey pros that watch Mojo have selected 20 players who they feel are most likely to make this list. Gentlemen, this is your draft pool. For this draft pool, we're excluding players who are still in the league since, of course, they still have a shot at reaching the top of the mountain. Just for fun, we've hidden a couple of names. Those are our wild cards. Teams, you can pick those at any time, by the way. And we've also selected a player who we feel is most likely to be at the top of the list, and that is our MVP, the fifth highest score of all time. Can you imagine that? Marcel Dion, he's off the table for now. Sean, how important is a championship um, in terms of determining your legacy and how people will remember you? I think it's very important. I mean, you, you play to win the game, and I think it's fair for us to evaluate a player based on whether or not they won the championship, because if you'd ask that player who's a competitor who plays the game for that reason to evaluate their own career, they'd probably factor that in based on uh, their own personal success. So absolutely, you gotta, you got to put that in there for Team sure. Team Blue, I'm sure you agree with that? I actually don't agree with that. Now, listen, I, I understand what Sean's saying. <laughs> easy, I understand man. What Easy, saying. Easy, man. Man. No, I'm with Julian. I, I don't agree either. There are some great players. You know, sometimes the rest of the team around you isn't, you know, isn't as good as it needs to be for you to win that championship, but you still put up incredible listen, numbers. Dan Marino. Sports, Dan Marino. Dan Marino. Tom Fox being unlucky is a real time. thing. Right. Is being unlucky not a real thing in sports and anything? True. Look at some of these guys. You don't think Marcel Dion is one of the greatest players of all time? And most recent, uh, Alex Ovechkin. That's good point, put him off the list. All right. All right. You got me sold for now, Derek Page. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, you saw the draft pool. It's time for the entry draft. In the entry draft, each team will have a chance to pick some players to get them started. We'll go back and forth playground style until both teams have their first three players. You guys won everything but the Stanley Cup backstage. We'll give you first pick. All right. What do you think, bud? I think we're going to go with Peter Stastny. First pick. Second most points in the 80s, man. After only Gretzky, we got to go with Peter Stats. Yeah, well done. All right. pick. Your counter pick, Team Red? I think we should go with Mike Gartner. Uh, it's a guy who should have won. If he wasn't traded away at the deadline, he would have won in 94 with the, with the Rangers. So this is a guy who had over 700 goals and never won a cup. That's a travesty. He's, Mike he's Gartner perfect. is your first pick. First pick. Tremendous player. Obvious. All right. Thanks, guys. That's On great. a side note. We appreciate note, that. We appreciate it. That you brought up some great points, Julian, as far as Peter Stastny is concerned. He's also the first player in league history to rack up 100 points in his rookie season. Stastny became the second highest scorer of the 80s, as you mentioned before. And the closest he came to a cup was in 1982 and 1985, where the Nordiques fell in the conference finals. That was good. Very I'm good. lucky. All right. Lucky. Your second uh, pick, Team Blue. Uh, we are going to go with Dale Howarchuk. Dale Howarchuk. Really? Six seasons, over oh, really? 100 points. Great player. 
Uh, I'd put him ahead of Mike Gardner, that's for sure. That's for oh, sure. oh, he's on our team. You know yeah. you have ten picks. You could have done this a lot later. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah Mike Gardner would have been about my <laughs> fifth. Hey, yeah. Paul Ash, I'm giving All you the right. next pick. What do you got? Uh, at this point, um... I need your I pick. Th- yeah, it's going to be Ron Hextall. Ron Hextall. Ron wow. Hextall. Are you guys even discussing this, Sean? Sa- career you save percentage what? below 900. I hope you guys know that. Hextall saw most of his career honors come from his rookie season in 1987, where he won the Vezina and the Conn Smythe. Despite his stellar performance, Hextall and the Flyers would fall to the Oilers in the Cup Final that same year. All right. Should have had one. Your final pick, Team Blue. Let's go with Pavel Burry. Pavel Three Burry. Rockets, man. Bring it on the team. Led the league in scoring three times with two different teams. Came closest to winning it all in 1994 when the Canucks lost to the Rangers in the cup final. Team Red, how are you guys going to bring it? Come on, guys. This is an easy one. We're going to go with Dino Cicerelli, uh, a guy who took more abuse than anybody in the draft pool and still put up monster numbers with over 600 goals in his career. I mean, what a phenomenal player to not have a cup is really a shame. Great player. All right, teams, you guys are cruising along with some fantastic picks, but we are cranking it up for the next period. It's time for game night. If our teams really want to bring it for the next seven draft picks, they'll need to rely on their hockey knowledge because game night is all about trivia. Every time a team answers a question correctly, they get to draft first. The first two questions are a one-on-one trivia showdown. Whoever buzzes in first gets to answer. If they get it wrong, the other team could steal. And if neither of them get it right, the person who buzzed in first wins the round and gets the pick. Julian, Paul, come on up. Let's do it. Let's go, Julian. Good luck, Paul. I like the chin strap. He's dissing you like that, Paul. You're gonna let you gonna let that happen? I'm just saying, something? I like it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, sorry, I'm Do in the a relationship. Line. It's okay. In okay. a relationship. <laughs> Your question is: after a team wins the cup, every player gets a day with it, resulting in some pretty outrageous stories. After the Avalanche won the cup in 96, defenseman Sylvain Lefebvre used his personal day with the cup to perform what kind of ceremony? I have no idea. Go ahead. Did you just offer it over? Yes. Did you allowed? do that? No, good that job. strategy right there. Yeah, no, that could be good, good strategy. That's allowed? Well, that could yeah, be. Of course, that's allowed. first. What's what's the answer? Ceremony. I'm gonna say wedding. Oh, so close. It was a baptism. Oh. oh. It wasn't the <laughs> only. Actually, close. that wasn't the first time that it happened, or the only time. Thomas Holstrom brought the cup home to Sweden, so his cousin could also baptize his daughter in the cup too. Good look at you with the strategy, eh? Yeah, Join your teammates, go back there, gentlemen. Uh, Let's pull up the draft pool. See, I told them to and do And Team and Blue, you earned yourself the uh, right for a pick. Go ahead. All right. You want to go with uh, Say it. the man? We're going to go with uh, Gilbert Perrault. First pick all time for the Buffalo Sabres in 1970. Probably the, still their greatest player of all time that ever wore that jersey. Uh, Pat Lafontaine. 1,326 okay. points in 1,191 yes. games. Yeah. Pat, Pat Lafontaine's number two. Will you give me that? Oh, yep. yeah, absolutely yes. number two. Yep. Team Red, your counter pick. We're going to go with a wild card. We're going to take wild card number two. Was that Paul's decision? Uh, no. Ron no. Hextall was Paul's decision. Okay. okay. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully there's a goalie there, eh, Paul? <laughs> Just stop it. No more on the list. <laughs> maybe, maybe Curtis Joseph is there. Really? Kuja, why is he not on this list? Yeah. He's got the he most wins of any goalie. There's enough. No, he he is also list. another player who doesn't have a cup. On a side note, wild card two, Matt Sundin is Great. Toronto's all-time leading mm. point getter and was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2012 on his first ballot. Came closest to a cup in 1990 where the Leafs lost in five games in the Eastern Conference Final. Fantastic. All right, Sean, I love, I love this. So the only thing I had going against Sean, him was the fact that he played for the Leafs. <laughs> Sean, Derek, come on up here. All right. <clears throat> should we shake hands? I feel like we I should. don't know. I don't know. We're not, no. We're, no, probably not. No. You guys want a moment? Here we go. <laughs> in the 1993 playoffs, which defending champion did the Islanders upset in a seven-game series? Pittsburgh. That is correct, the Pittsburgh Penguins. The Pens were two-time champs in 91-92 and were heavily favored in 93, which was, of course was won by Montreal Canadiens, of course, that year. Yeah. Has it been a while. Have it's you guys been, go back to your positions? It's been a while for any Canadian team. <laughs> Never mind the Let's Montreal Canadiens. Let's pull up the Canadian. draft pool. And you've earned yourself the right for the next pick, Team Red. You're back in it. We were talking about this before, and uh, you mentioned him just a moment ago. We're going to go with Pat Lafontaine because he really yes. is one of the greatest players. You're uh, reacting to that, Derek? Amazing. Oh, yes, yeah, there. Don't, don't like the pick. Uh, and then they left the guy we want up there. Oh, good. All right, yeah, who is that? Your pick, Team Blue. Give us the greatest playmaker of all time, wild card, wild card number one, please. Adam Oates, Adam wild card Oates. number one, a five-time NHL All-Star who had his best years in St. Louis and Boston, including a 142-point season with the Bruins. He lost in two Stanley Cup finals, first with the Capitals in 1998 and again with the Ducks in 2003. 1,079 assists. And no gentlemen. Stanley Cups. 
Well, that's well, the, that's that's the, the whole thing. I'm agreeing with you. I thought you were confused it, for a second no, there, a Sean. Yeah. Pick. All right, gentlemen, for these next two questions, we're upping the stakes. Forget one pick. It's boring. Teams now get two. Also, the winner of this round gets a chance to really mess things up and force the other team to a trade so they can take their pick that they really regret and swap it out for the other team's golden boy. I'll read out a question that will require a team to place four items in the right order. Teams can choose to play the question or pass it. Being right wins you the next pick. Here we go. The question's for you, Team Red. Whether you choose to christen your child in it or not, hoisting the cup is sweet, which makes long stretches without a championship so painful for the players and the fans alike. Place these Stanley Cup droughts in order from longest to shortest. Before I give you your options, do you wish to play? You or do yeah. you just want to pass play. it over to these guys? Yes. We're going to pass. We're going to pass it. Let it pass. Right. Pass. Okay. Let's do it. Let's I got super fan here. Yeah. 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 So, I don't know. Let's see if he, he actually has the cape. All right. All right. If he's going to yeah. be the super fan, fan of the rest I got, I got confidence in him. Your options are Philadelphia Flyers, Toronto Maple Leafs, Calgary Flames, New York Islanders. Go. Paul Ash. What would you do with the cup for a day? Charge admission. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Make some money. Make some money. <laughs> Sean? Oh, that's easy. Two words. Margarita. Just fill it up. Rim it. Party. Yeah, sit by what the pool. Family? No, no, maybe, no, like, no, no, no. Just fill it with fill it with booze. Have a good time. Yeah, yeah but, of course. But you salt, can still salt charge the rim. No, it's, oh, that tarnished. No. One large amaretto sour is go. what you would want to <laughs> do with it. That's right. Sure, why not? That'll be a lot of fun. Team Blue? Here. Let's take a look. Cast it. Here we go. It's in there. We asked you to place these Stanley Cup draughts in order Come from on, longest to shortest. You said the Leafs, Flames, Flyers, and New York Islanders. And that is incorrect. It's the Maple Leafs, the Philadelphia Flyers, New York Islanders, and Calgary Flames. It's been 48 years. The Leafs haven't won. 40 for the Flyers, 32 for the Islanders, and 26 for the Flames. And, of course, we all know what Leafs stands for, losing even after 40 seasons. <laughs> Here we go. Team Red, you've earned yourself the right for uh, two picks. What's two going picks. on? Who are they? All right, Paul, go ahead. I'm talking about you want, you want to, you no, no, no. I need your pick, yeah, Cam Neely. Cam, Cam Neely. Cam Neely is your Cam first Neely. pick and your second pick. Second pick, we really, really do like uh, Brad Park. Brad Park was such an underrated player. I mean, he was kind of like the budget Bobby Orr. He was so great, never got any credit for it. And he belongs on that list 100%. A budget Bobby Orr. Yeah, he's like phenomenal. Yeah. All right, excellent. Your counterpicks, Team Blue? I'll go go, we'll go with uh, Eric Lindros. Talent-wise, one of the greats. Unfortunately, shortened career, but... Over a point a game. Yeah. Speed, power, skill. He was amazing. Eric Lindros. He was Rookie of the Year in 1995 and established himself as one of the best power forwards in league history, but his career was shortened by multiple concussions. He came closest to a cup in 1997 where the Flyers lost to the Red Wings in the final. Good pick. Your second pick. It's either, either him or Jean Rattel. What do you think? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Need your pick, guys? Jeremy Roenick. We'll go with Jeremy Take Roenick. Jeremy Roenick. 50 Roenick. goal scorer. Yeah. Let's take him. Jeremy wow. Roenick. Going with a super fan pick. Jeremy Roenick. Roenick developed a reputation for being a hard-nosed yet electrifying forward, an appearance in nine All-Star games. Closest he came to a cup was in 1992, where the Blackhawks lost to the unstoppable Penguins. He doesn't even belong in the draft pool. Jeremy Roenick. Yeah, Ooh. Jeremy Roenick. Yeah. Wow. 50 goal scorers don't belong in this Not draft pool? Not in this pool? list. Not in this Oof. list. Team Blue, you've earned yourself the right to swap. Who will you be giving away and who are you stealing from these guys? Uh, I'd say let's let's give away Jeremy Roenick. Yeah, they seem take, to not like him. So yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll they, they don't like him, then they, yeah. they can have. So you are giving away Jeremy Roenick. That is right. And you and are taking Mike Gartner. Let's do it. Mike Gartner. Wow, the guy they denigrated right off the top of the show. Oh. Jeremy Roenick denigrated 50 goals. goals. He is a phenomenal. Sorry, player. Sean McMahon, that is personal. <laughs> uh, that is personal. denigrated for that. simply picking him first overall. Yeah, oh, we okay. still we like him as a player. Howard check ahead of him. That's the only reason. We like Jeremy Roenick. He's a great player. Scored 50. For this question, the winner. <laughs> once again gets two picks and gets to go on the power play, meaning they get to send one of their opponents to the penalty box for the next round. Here we go. This question is for you, Team Blue. Cup or no cup, players can still make their mark on the game with their career points totals. Place these players who never won a cup in order from most career points to fewest. Before I give you your options, should I even ask you? What do you think? Buddy? You wish to play? Do you want I'm confident. I think we can do you it. You like this? But do you think they can do it less likely than us? Yeah, that's that's, that's the question. question. Good question. Super Look at Paul's face. He great? looks worried. Team Blue concerned. player pass. Let's, let's send it over. Okay, we'll pass. Good luck to you guys. Thank you. This is going to be another send off. Uh, Julian? They were nice to us. We'll give it back to them. No, no, no they, he just doesn't like to answer fail. questions. That's all. Sweet revenge if you get this right. Daryl Sittler, Adam Oates, Rick Marn, Marcel Dion, go. Do you guys feel bad for any of the players on that list? Any guy personally where you look at it, you're like, my God, well, what you a know career what? and no cup. 
I was the way I think about it. There's a lot of uh, Flyers players there. There's a lot of Leafs players there. But Pavel Bury, Canucks and Panthers, mm -hmm. he didn't have a lot of support in his career, man. That's that's probably one of the guys I'd feel most bad for because he was on a team that is just scoring all kinds of goals, but he doesn't get him. It's not lucky. I look at Brad Park. You know, like if if Bobby Orr isn't around at that time, yeah. he's probably considered the best defenseman that's in true. the league. Yeah. He went to a couple of cups himself, and he was he. I mean, I think he was really underrated. Probably a lot of people don't know a lot about him, but yeah. an incredible hockey player. All right, let's see if you guys pulled it off. Place these players who never won a cup in order from most career points to fewest. You said Marcel Dion, Adam Oates, Rick Martin, and Daryl Sittler. And that is incorrect. It's Marcel Dion, Adam Oates, Daryl Sittler, and then Rick Martin. Uh, Marcel Dion is sixth all-time in points, and the next cupless player is Adam Oates, who is 17th all-time. Guys didn't get that right. Therefore, you guys have earned yourself for the next two picks. Who will it be? I think uh, we should take... Let's take uh, Jean Rattel. Yeah, yeah, all right, Jean Rattel. Point, point a game guy. Uh, again, probably yep. not a name that a lot of people know, but underappreciated uh, had a great, yeah, is the word that comes to mind when I think of Jean Rattel. 100%. Your second pick. What do you think? Solming? I think Borde Solming, man. Yeah. 360 assist seasons, a Swedish yeah. hockey pioneer. Uh, let's go with Borde Solming. Yeah, we'll man. take Solming. Borde Solming. 787 points, undrafted. Good yeah, pick. Thank you. That's bold. That is a bold pick. All right, Team Red, it's time for you guys to retaliate. Your two picks. Paul? Um, I think just because I grew up watching hockey in the 70s, it's going to be Daryl Sittler. Okay. Uh, Swept by the Habs. I like that. <laughs> Listen, to be available this late in the, in the draft, I think Daryl Sittler's a phenomenal pick at this point. It, it is. It, it, it's it, actually surprising that none of you guys took Daryl Sittler till now. Well, Your second pick. Their hatred of, of Toronto, of the Leafs. It's, uh, <laughs> Can you blame this me? Dislike, not I, hatred. I grew up a Canadians fan and then an Ottawa Senators fan. Of course, yeah, it's in your blood. Oh, you, blood. you are a traitor often. <laughs> I think your second pick, Team Red. It's going to be Mark Howe. Definitely Mark Howe. Mark Howe, one yeah. of the best plus minus uh, of all time. And not just famous That's for his name. That's a great pick. Yeah, it's a great pick. Yeah. It's a terrific I can't even I can't even trash talk that I one. I always He's... thought it was ironic how he lost to the Oilers because of Gretzky, and yet yeah, Gordie Howe was like Gretzky's idol, you know? That's I thought point. that was funny. Yeah. yeah. Are we friends again? Is that... No, no, Can not we at all. Be? No, Is no. that okay with you guys? <laughs> Team Blue. He offered you to be friends with him. Are you going to send him to the penalty box? That would be Maybe. hard. <laughs> that would be hard. Maybe that, would be, after. that would make for hey, a listen, great we're show. We're talking hockey players. Hockey players are like that all the time. They get in the fight, they, you know, they're friends yeah. afterwards, they go out for beers. We'll do Who the same. Who will you be sending off to the penalty box? It's up to you, Derek. I'm, I'm, Do it, Derek. Sean. Yeah! You're out of here, buddy. Sean McMahon is going to take Ron Hextall, okay? <laughs> yeah. Second yeah, overall. Yeah, that, that earned you the penalty Sean box. Sean McMahon, you are taking two for the team. Get in that penalty box! We'll see you later, Sean. See you, Sean. Team Blue! That was harsh. Hey, it's we the right see, choice. We want to see now. what Paul could do right yeah, now. Yeah, well, Let's which see. isn't much. Yes, we've yeah, seen okay, so far. Okay, there it is. Yeah. While Sean McMahon listens to Celine Dion's greatest hits, these guys are running the speed drill. Teams have to answer five rapid-fire questions. Whoever gets more correct gets that sweet, sweet MVP pick. Mr. California Sunshine himself, LA King superstar Marcel Dion. Teammates can work together on this one. Of course, one of our teams is short-handed. Good news for them, though, in the case of a tie. You will win, Paul Ash. You will win. This is going to be good. Here we go. Between clever sports writers and smart-ass teammates. There's a lot of nicknames in the NHL. Identify the ridiculous nicknames that each of these players were gifted with. Question one, Jose Theodore. Was it Shut the Theodore or Three or More? Shut the Theodore or Three or More. Question two, <laughs> Nikolai Habibulin. Was it the Bullen Wall or Saint Nick? No. Question three. That's good. That's good. I like the confidence. Steve was Buzinski. Was it Buzzkill or the Puck Gozinski? <laughs> Curtis Joseph. Cujo or Coco? We know it's Coco. You guys get your yeah, butter ready? Yeah, Coco. Question number five. Delicious hot drink, you know. Don Murdoch. <laughs> Murder or the Doctor? All right, gentlemen. Let's do this. Paul Ash, how you feeling? I feel good. The, if it's a tie, then it's point is mine. That's I'm pulling right. this out. Oh, you were listening to the rules. Yeah. Nice. Team Red, all you need is a tie. <laughs> if you well, get he's that shooting tie. for the moon here. If it's a tie, <laughs> I win. <laughs> exactly. We asked you to identify these ridiculous nicknames that each of these players were gifted with. Question one, Jose Theodore, Team Blue. You said shut the Theodore. <laughs> huge. Team Red, you said three or more. The correct answer is three or more. Team Red. Hmm. Nikolai Habibulin was question number two. Team Blue, you said 
The Bull and Wall, Team Red. You said The Bull and Wall, and the correct answer was The Bull and Wall. Good job. Question three. Steve Buzinski. Team Blue, you said The Puck Goes Inski. <laughs> You like that one, eh? I just you chose it because it's it. fantastic. Yeah. Team Red, you said buzzkill. The correct answer was <laughs> the puck goes in ski. Yes. Yeah. He finished his career with a goals against huge. average of more than huge. five. Yeah. Question four. Curtis Joseph, Cujo or Coco, you both said Cujo, and that is the correct answer. And he's another guy, by the way, as we mentioned, that never won a cup. Mm -hmm. Should have been on the list. A lot of Paul Leafs. Ash. A lot of Leafs players, man. Team Blue, it comes down to this. Yeah. If you get one more question correct, you will earn yourself the MVP. We gotta make a good mojo. Well, they we need the MVP. The I mean, I'm yeah. pretty confident we're gonna win. It could win be a this game anyway. changer, though. It's could, a big player. Big could, player. Could. Here we go. Don Murdoch. Oof. Ooh. Oof. Team Blue. Boy. You said the doctor. Team Red. You said murder. For the MVP, Marcel Dion. The correct answer is murder. Oh. Team Red with one of the most improbable <laughs> comebacks of all time. <laughs> Exactly. Well, that was the plan on the whole whole deal. We wanted you to like, psych him out. You I remember psych you him out with the first like pick. Uh, like Ron Hextall just it, put them. Uh, the Ron Hextall third overall. He, yeah, he has. He's us. so in shock. That's some yeah, credibility, together, right? Yeah. Completely. But then look at the comeback. Nice comeback. Your guessing Paul. skills earned it, Paul. <laughs> Good job, Paul Ash. You have earned yourself the MVP. Marcel Dion won the Ted Lindsay Award twice, the Art Ross once, and made eight NHL All Star game appearances. He dominated first with the Red Wings and then the Kings, but never made a Cup final. Way to go, Paul. It's the plan. You were it's it. the you were in it, Paul. <laughs> I met Marcel Dion. You know, he owns a diner in Niagara Falls. He owns a diner, and beside it is a sports memorabilia store. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. great guy. You guys we, didn't get we the deserved MVP, him. Though. We deserved Marcel. You did get Wendell Clark, by the way. <laughs> the Leafs' first overall pick in 1985, captain of the team from 91 to 94, and had one amazing reputation when it came to being one of the tough guys on the ice. Fan favorite. Yeah. The pool is now empty, and here comes the Zamboni crew just in time for the final countdown. Team Red is back at full strength. Welcome back from the penalty box, Sean McMahon. Thank you. How surprised are you that Paul Ash got it done no, for the MVP? Despite the fact that I was listening to Celine Dion the entire time, uh, no, I knew he was going to pull it off the entire time. Stop lying, Sean McMahon. <laughs> Stop lying. Hey, great job, Paul. <laughs> Paul, all jokes aside, you did a great job. Our teams will now rank their draft picks from 10 to 1 to create their list of the top 10 greatest players to never win a cup. Gentlemen, you have 60 seconds, and then we'll see whose list is the ultimate. Your 60 seconds starts now. All right, Bonnie. It's easy to remember incredible playoff performances, but who gives props to the guys who put up insane numbers and still came up short? Here's the lineup's list of the top three Stanley Cup losing performances. Number three, Ron Hextall, 1987. His rookie performance in 87 was filled with ridiculous saves, violent outbursts, and a Conn Smythe trophy. Nothing, and I mean nothing, could have stopped Gretzky's Oilers that year, but Hextall took them to seven games. Number two, Pavel Bury, 1994. Game-winning double overtime goal in round one, check. Eight points in five games during round two, check. 16 goals and 31 points during his insane playoff run, spectacular. Number one, Jean-Sébastien Giguère, 2003. In round one, Giguère and the Ducks swept the defending champions. He finished the playoffs with a 1.62 goals against average and a 9.45 save percentage and became only one of five players to be named playoff MVP on a losing effort. Happily, Jiggy, unlike Hextall and Bure, did eventually win hockey's ultimate prize in 2007. Speaking of getting Jiggy with it, Team Blue, talk to me about your list. Love our list. Look at that. Man, dude. I think we, we, had, we had a stacked list. There were some between a couple players that we weren't sure, but I mean, Adam Oates, great playmaker. We wanted him in the top three. Mike Gardner, great goal scorer. We wanted him in the top five. So, If you look at six of our top seven right there, over 1,200 points in their career. Yeah. You, you cannot beat this list. They are lucky they got the MVP because we would have destroyed Be, them. Before you had talked about Pavel Bure yeah. and how it would have been nice to have Pavel Bure win a cup, uh, you put him behind Mike Gardner. Mike, Mike Gardner, Gardner more, I'd say more consistent. I mean, three rockets for Pavel Bure, that's no slouch there, but uh, Mike Gardner, I mean. Like you look at his point totals. Four. Eight, eight 40 goal seasons, 150. I mean, that's a lot. That's consistency. So yeah. if he didn't get the win, win a cup in that that little zone there, that's unlucky. And you backed up your bold pick with Howard Chuck as your number two on your list. Yes, Eric Page. insanity. You're not budget off that. You're not, you're not, you're not turning a blind eye here. Great numbers. Uh, the numbers speak for themselves. I agree right. with him on that one. All right, Team Red. 
I love, uh, first of all, our top five is, I think, is stronger than, than the other two. <laughs> so, so, let me ask you this. so let me ask you this. Incorrect. What makes your list better than theirs? I think it's a little bit more balanced. Plus, if we're talking about, if you want to go down the stats road, because that's what some people like to do, uh, really, I tabulate, even though I work in radio, we did some math, and still, we've tabulated. There's about 3,000 some odd goals it, just in our, in our list alone, and that's a lot of goals. Fact check. Please. What, you want to fact check? I want to fact check. Can we get a fact check? All right, I'm getting a fact check. Go ahead. That's okay. At least we, oh, did, no, at I, least I we didn't provide check, a really <laughs> mediocre anecdote uh, about a uh, diner. So that's going for us, too. Okay. And uh, no, I just did a fantastic list. I mean, you can't lose with Marcel Dion as your number one and then just look beyond that. Some of the greatest players of our generation. Right, Paul? Definitely. Excellent. That's what I was looking for. I gave you your moment, Paul. You Paul nailed it. I love it. it. I think. Paul's the master there. genius. Part of the curiosity. Uh, every. I can't every... believe Hextall's ten after you picked him third overall, though. I appreciate That's you. Another question: question a pickup game in between both these lists. Who wins it? Oh, us, because Hextall oh, just beats him. Oh, oh my God, God guys! Look at this list. Hextall's eight ninety five save percentage. No chance against Gardner. You're the all-time injury team on there too. Oh my God! I will say, if I had to make a choice, you know what? Give it to you guys. Yeah. If I had to, Team Blue, knew, well done. You guys still did a crease. You still did a kick-ass job, Paul Ash and Sean McMahon, Team Red. Where can we catch some of the fun stuff you're involved with, Paul? Uh, I'm generally, I, I work out of the Wiggle Room. You can find me online, though, at paulashcomedy.com. Great, thanks for taking the time. Sean McMahon? I'll be opening up for Paul every single weekend. And uh, <laughs> no, you can catch me online, thebeat925.ca. Great party show, Saturday nights, 5 to 9, weekend breakfast, Sunday morning. Derek Fage, where can we catch you? Uh, Monday to Friday, every morning, breakfast television, uh, 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. And, of course, you can follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Excellent. Excellent. Julian Pastorero, how cool is this? Man. You're watching top 10 lists on Watch Mojo all the time, and now you're on a show. Incredible. How cool was the experience for you? Oh, I had a great time. I really appreciate Watch Mojo letting me on. It's great. I had a lot of fun with you guys, and uh, I appreciate it. This guy knows his stuff. Out of curiosity, on a top 10 list of the best bearded game show hosts, where do you rank me? Oh, I don't wow, know. Well, listen, I'm not a game show host, so I'll put I you number, number one. I want a number. I'll pick. put you number one, Adam. Oh, boy, you'll be back on this show. I promise <laughs> you that much. I thought Team Blue had the better list, but hey, I couldn't win a cup of coffee, so don't take it from me. Tell us in the comments who you thought had the stronger list. I'm Adam Reed, and on behalf of the entire team, we'll see you next time right here on Watch Mojo's The Lineup. Thanks for watching The Lineup. For more episodes, click here and subscribe for more great content published daily.